Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk. Today we're going to be looking at Manchester United and is there reason to be concerned for United fans? In their last three WSL games they have drawn with Brighton and Hove Albion, Arsenal and Aston Villa only scoring twice. After starting the season so brightly and despite remaining unbeaten in the WSL there is a lot of concern from United fans. Fans. Now, is that because they are slipping down the table, they're not scoring goals, Mark's going to start a play? There are a lot of questions that need to be answered for Manchester United. And it feels like if you look at Manchester United on a whole, the women's team, they seem to have regressed back to previous seasons, Manchester United's, where they aren't being able to finish off teams as well as they should be able to. They're not getting the results they need to to be challenging the top two in Chelsea and Manchester City with WSL titles and potential Champions League spots. I mean, just looking back this past weekend against Aston Villa in a 0-0 draw, some may say that United were lucky to escape uh, Lee Sports Village with the draw after being outdone in shots. Aston Villa only had 11 shots to Manchester United's 5. Aston Villa had 4 on target to Manchester United's 1. It is a lot of concern for them. Three draws in a row. This weekend, they play uh, away at Leicester City team that has had their own struggles I mean they've lost two in a row and they will be hoping not to make it three in a row despite the injury concerns that Amadine Macau side have but from Manchester United it feels like they've just hit a bit of a stale point in their season and it feels like they need some sort of refreshment I mean Mark's going to come out post key game saying that it's a new team and we still need to get used to being with each other which isn't actually true I mean if you look at the starting 11 um, from last week's game against Aston Villa. Only four players didn't play for them last season. Elizabeth Turland, Celine Bizet, Dominic Janssen and Grace Clinton, who's obviously been at the club now for a couple of seasons, but uh, went on loan to Tottenham Hotspur last season. So the rest of the players have played at least one season, or if not more, under Mark Skinner, who's into his fourth season now. And it seems like every time and time again, they start off well, they get the occasional results but now they just seem to be regressing and falling back into the same Manchester United that has happened and it feels like some sort of change needs to happen whether that's how Mark Skinner is playing tactically how the 11, the 11 that he ends up choosing or is it ultimately the manager himself that needs changing now if we look at the manager himself and from a hierarchy standpoint the Ineos and uh, Glazer group that uh, oh Manchester United have changed the men's manager this season in Eric Ten Hag and sacked him and brought in Ruben Amarin from Sporting Club de Portugal. Now, could they follow down the same route if results continue to be bad for Manchester United's women's team and Mark Skinner ends up getting the second? I personally, I don't see that happening because they don't have a permanent head of women's football in at the minute. Obviously, Polly Bancroft left in the summer to work at uh, Grimsby Town and they've just had an interim uh, in place and whilst I think things aren't as good as Man United women would be hoping they'd be obviously not competing with Chelsea and Manchester City at the top and obviously now being overtaken by Arsenal who themselves made a managerial change in getting rid of Jonas Seidervelt and have had Rene Slagers in as interim period for me I don't feel like there's been enough attention and care being paid to the women's side from the Manchester United hierarchy to say that Mark Skinner isn't the right manager to keep going forward. I personally don't think he is because it feels like a team that will have won the FA Cup in the last couple of seasons. They obviously finished in a place where they were potentially playing Champions League football. They obviously played the qualifiers but got knocked out. For a team that should be going on to progress to that next level to then be eventually competing for WSL titles, I don't think Mark Skinner is the right manager for them. You then have to think of options well who who's out there obviously there's obviously the love and adoration for casey stoney for what she did to the team and how that ended so sourly in her departure obviously not on casey stoney's fault then you look at some of the other top coaches around women's football there are some good names that could uh, attract uh, manchester united's hierarchy should they make that change but in terms of this near future i don't see it happen unless results start going really badly for them um, by Christmas, say, if they're looking 7th and below, then they could potentially look at that change. But with them only giving Mark Skinner a year extension to his contract, I think they're just happy with whatever happens this season. And then come the summer, we'll look at uh, how things are going 
in terms of can they retain the FA Cup, how would they do in the League's Cup, but where would they end up finishing in the WSL. And I think if they don't have a big success in the League's Cup or the FA Cup and they do really badly in the League, then I think Skinner's gone. But I think if they have a fourth or fifth and um, above position finishing the WSL, then I think he probably could be saved for another season, even if it's not what is best for this Manchester United team, because they've got really quality players. I mean, you look at Grace Clinton, you look at Elizabeth Turland, Melvin Millard, the potential for this Man United team to be doing better than what they are doing is definitely apparent, and they should be doing a lot better than what they are doing. But it seems that they've gone back to their old ways, and it seems like they're at a real sticking point as to what uh, constitutes a good performance from Manchester United and what can get them firing back on all cylinders like they were doing at the start of the season. Like It's obviously not as bad as you look at some of the bottom teams in the WSL, the likes of Everton, Aston Villa, West Ham United. But for United, they're just really poor and stagnant. Like They've scored nine goals this season and have only conceded two. But these last three results have riled up fans, and I think rightly so, because they have just been at a very slow uh, block. And looking at the rest of the games that they have for 2024, I mentioned they're playing away at Leicester this weekend. Then they've got a League's Cup game against Everton. Then they travel to Chelsea in that rearranged fixture just before the international break. And then after the international break, they play at home to Liverpool, Newcastle in the League's Cup and Crystal Palace away uh, on the 15th of December in their final game of 2024. So some big tests coming up for Mark Skinner sides. And it'll be interesting to see how they come out of this next month's worth of games and where they'll be looking uh, at the winter break because United fans, they are definitely starting to show their discourse and distaste towards Mark Skinner and how poor they've been playing. And it will only keep on growing and growing and growing if they can't get the results that uh, will get United fans back on their side and back competing for the WSL title. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Manchester United. Should they get rid of Mark Skinner? Should he stay? Um, fans be more patient and the results are slowly growing. And what you think needs to change to get them back competing for a WSL title in the future. In the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours. Make sure you're following us on X Women's Football Talk or WF Talks and Instagram on Fred's It's Women's Football Talk or One Word. And we'll have plenty of articles around Manchester United and all the stuff in the world of women's football. So make sure you check out that free to subscribe at womensfootballtalk.substack.com. In the meantime, we'll see you soon.